The Hartley Show is an entertainment program and does not own any of the copyrighted material featured in this episode. All copyrighted material featured will be used as fair use for the purposes of criticism, comment, news reporting, and or research. Talkie talkie. Today on The Hartley Show, I'm going to be talking about Hellboy. Hellboy was first published in August of 1993 in a miniseries called Hellboy Seed of Destruction. Now, the launch, the initial launch of Hellboy was uh, under the umbrella of an imprint through Dark Horse called Legend, with legendary creators such as uh, John Byrne, uh, Frank Miller, and of course, uh, Mike Mignola's Hellboy. None of the series really did well or had much of a lasting impression other than Hellboy and Sin City, so uh, the legendary moniker ended up being a little not so legendary when it's all said and done. Originally, uh, Hellboy was scripted by John Byrne and plotted by Mike Mignola. Of course, Mike Mignola has always drawn the whole thing. And like I said, it was only a four-issue miniseries. Now, Hellboy, Hellboy, is uh, the son of one of the lords of hell. And he has this thing, the Fist of Doom. The whole concept behind Hellboy was he was discovered during World War II by a group of soldiers and, at least in the original uh, telling of it, one superhero by the name of Torch of Liberty created by John Byrne. They sort of have worked him out of the series as I think John Byrne is kind of an embarrassment to comics nowadays. And he's raised by this scientist who creates an organization called the BPRD, the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Discovery, Development, something like that. A Hellboy eventually becomes one of the main members of the BPRD, and he uh, engages in regular uh, paranormal research and uh, basically goes out in missions. Now, Hellboy, actually, when it comes down to it, mostly what he does is just punch things with his big old fist and yell out, BOOM! But he does have a way with the world of magics and whatnot. Hellboy is, you know, probably just about, if not the most successful character that's ever come out of Dark Horse comics. Uh, he's had two movies, two cartoons, a video game that's supposed to be horrible, and uh, his comic is still out today. Uh, Hellboy's sort of reign, it is sort of the story arc he follows, ends up with him eventually leaving the BPRD. He ends up getting trapped underwater for years and years and years, stuck in an island. He eventually ends up becoming, a spoiler alert, the King of Britain, he even has Excalibur and all that. He gives up the sword, uh, he ends up getting killed by a demon, and the current storyline, uh, sorry, a, actually that's not, he fights the dragon and he's killed by some weird ghost. That's right, he pl pulls out his heart. And the current storyline that's been going on for quite some time, because Mignolan's a little slow, is Hellboy in Hell. It's the sort of go figure, he's a demon, so he doesn't really just quite die. I mean, he's kind of perfectly at home in hell. I think they're on issue number eight or nine right now. Uh, now, Hellboy has spawned a series of other series. There are, There is the uh, the ongoing BPRD comic book. There's also the Abe Sapien, Abe, Abe Sapien comic that's being produced as well right now. And Mike Mignola has another book as well called Baltimore, sort of an ongoing storyline about this immortal fighter of, uh, you know, evil magic thingy mahoo-haws and whatnot. <laughs> Now, as I already mentioned, Hellboy Success has spawned two movies, two cartoons, but it's also spawned a board game, a role-playing game, a video game that was supposed to be horrible. And, you know, I think we all really associate Hellboy with, I'm pointing at the mask that looks nothing like, Ron Perlman. Now, there's been this campaign to make Hellboy 3, uh, directed by, of course, uh, Guillermo uh, del Toro and starring Ron Perlman. And I believe Ron Perlman recently said something to the effect of, this needs to happen. It's not that it shouldn't happen, but the series needs to be wrapped up. From what I understand, Hellboy 2 didn't do nearly as well as the first Hellboy, and I think that's probably one of the reasons there's been a slowdown in the sort of licensing overall. But it needs to happen. I absolutely agree. The series should get wrapped up. Now, one of the most endearing things about Hellboy is his great cast of supporting characters. You've got Abe Sapien, the man who was once a man but is now some amphibious creature. You've got Liz Allen, who's sort of possessed by some sort of fiery capability and, and it's messed with her life. You've got uh, Roger, the humunculus. You've got Johann Strauss, the gaseous scientist trapped in a sooty suit thing. And uh, one of the really interesting things about the overall Hellboy world is that it's really been this great long storyline that's uh, encapsulated 
in almost more so in the BPRD comic book and in the Abe Sapien comic. For about the last decade worth of comics, the BPRD and the Abe Sapien comic have focused on how the world has been taken over by these sort of loved, crafty, and like demons that populate the world and humanity's ongoing struggle with these things that they're warring with that are wiping out cities and mutating humans and mutating fish and animals and trees and all this crazy, crazy supernatural stuff. I truly hope that if they, we ever do see a Hellboy 3, that we'll actually really get into that great, great storyline that's lasted right until today. Pow! So there you have it. Hellboy, as always, a giant thanks to you for watching. A massive thanks to Daryl and Netherworld for letting us film here, and we'll see you next time. I'm sweating.